Welcome back to Creasonomics with your host, Mr. Gray. It has absolutely positively been too long. I apologize, guys. I haven't got a really, really, really great drop in a while. It's been dry here. Um, it's been like a dry season. My, um, Nike hasn't been playing. You know, I think the last good cop I had uh, was actually my last review was these University Blues, which was, of course, these were playing hard to get for everybody. It also pissed a lot of people off because a lot of people did not get them beautiful quality but we already talked about that so moving along we're gonna jump right into it today we are here to um do a quick review and i'm sure there's probably been plenty of reviews already on this but it's whatever i have it this is my review my review is special because i did it anyway well today we have the jordan one patina um here we got the box which is a regular nike jordan one box and the colors we have are black fresh mint light army now i was fortunate once again to get a hookup get not a hookup really i was just fortunate to get mine from um end clothing so you can see it has that actual uk actually has the uk um label up there as well which is the additional label i guess um end clothing put on it um other than that let's go ahead and take a quick look at it and when i say quick it's because i'm gonna actually throw this in the light box to get us a better look so as you can see, yeah, it comes with the black laces right here. But I think the interesting touch actually is these mint laces right here, um, which match, of course, the Nike Air that's on the tongue right there. Um, I don't I, actually. I'm not gonna do this review here, guys. I think we just really need to jump into the light box. Um, so. There are a there are a few small flaws on mine I noticed and when I give you guys a closer look you'll see it. So let's head on over to the light box. All right guys, so into the shoot to the light box as I promised. So an up close and personal look with the Jordan 1 patina. So all looks good from a distance. You know, I wasn't really sure. I I think a lot of people weren't sure how they felt about this shoe from the online look. In hand, it's not bad. Um, it's not, of course, it's not a university blue. It won't be. Um, of course, I love that sale midsole. As I've always said, me and sale are like best friends. We are buddies to the end. I do love that sale midsole. So that I, I just in love with. Um, so, of course, you see the Nike swoosh, the eyelets, and the, um, the, the leather around the toe box, they're all like have that bronze color to them. That's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it bronze. I do my own colors now. Not forget the box, but they have they have a somewhat of a, 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 a not a real shine shine, but I guess a low. Not, I hate to say low budget because there's nothing low budget about it, but it's a small sheen on it, a little bit of shine, but it's not very it's it's kind of it's, it's a dull shine to it, almost like a bronze trophy. So but it's pretty cool. Um. Reminds me of that Jordan 1. I can't even think of the name that came out. That was bronze. Um, looked like a trophy. So, um, as I did say um, previously, you know, the the one interesting thing I do like is the, the how they have the mint green laces. But then you also have the mint green wording. And I believe the stitching. Let's see. I believe the stitching is mint green also. But also on the inside. It's hard to see there. Ugh. On the inside, the actual there we go. The Nike Air on the um, on the insole is actually mint green as well. So um, yes, you have here another Jordan One. Of course, we're gonna always get 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 plenty. But let, let's talk about first before we jump into the similarities in this gray color. Which on this on the it's interesting when you look at it, it does look gray on the heel and on the um, around the collar around the Air Jordan logo, but let's talk about mine let's talk about my little bit of flaws here so if you look right here it's like right there between the the um, leather surrounding the toe box and above the midsole you can actually see where it, it seems like i have like black paint down there which is very interesting i i, I haven't seen a i haven't seen a separate color around the toe box before from what the actual color of that shoe was but as you can see that right there and hopefully it's not too close look at that it's like a black ring going around it that's that's different 
Um, I'm not mad at it. I don't, I don't, I don't get really mad unless my shoe is like really torn up. Um, cause it's not like something somebody can see from a distance to be honest with you. But I mean, I guess I just found it interesting, um, that it was such a, it was an interesting flaw if you know, you're a person like me who kind of goes over your shoes and just kind of looks to where you can find different flaws at. So now let's go into this color. So I, I completely forgot what I said the color on the box is, but in when I look at it in hand, actually shoot, it looks like it looks like a faded, it, it looks like a faded army green color. Be honest, like when you see it from a distance, when you look at it from a distance, it hey, actually still looks like a fade. In certain certain lights, it does look gray. In certain lights, depending. Um, but as soon as you pull out the Jordan One Japan. You are you are quickly you quickly realize that the suede here is is an army green color because the Jordan One Japan is actually a true gray or the light smoke grays. You're like okay, that's a no. Hold on, I don't want to mess up the mess up that one. You realize the the light light smoke grays. That's a true gray. That's a true gray. And then they make the, the, if this looked like it was gray in a specific lighting, which this lighting is so good that. It doesn't look like that, but if it's regular light bulbs, it looks somewhat gray. But you can realize it actually does have an, more of an olive, olive light green color. Even the stitching has that olive color. So, um, what my overall impression of a shoe? Uh, I didn't need this shoe, but I I do like have I do like owning all the Jordan ones. Um, I am a Jordan 1 whore. I'm going to just go ahead and admit it. It is what it is. So a lot of times, even if it's not one I'm 100% in love with, it's a Jordan 1 and I like to get them. I like Jordan 1. I like highs and lows, pretty much. Those, And so I had to get it. Um, the, of course, the one I'm looking for is the, the, the most, the next pop, the next popping one is going to be the, what is it? God, I can't even think about it. So I think it's coming out on April 17th. Um, can't get the name off the top of my head right now. But anyway, um, I don't think there's much more to say about the Jordan One Patina. Hopefully, if you got, if you were lucky enough to get a pair, your quality, you you have better quality than I had, like around that that around that sole down there by the um, midsole area, and you didn't have that line going around there. Um, but if you yours look like mine, sorry, it is what it is, I guess. Either way, um, it's not a bad shoe. Um, I don't even know what the resale's going for right about now. I think it's about. I don't check enough lately. Maybe it's about 230-ish, I guess. Maybe 230, 250, no more than 250 in my size. So either way, if you still want it, it's not it. It's not at an, a ridiculously inflated price. But we do know Jordan ones most of the time after a year, six months to a year, absolutely go up. So if it's something you want now, even though it's not the hottest Jordan one, not even the top five. I wouldn't even say it's going to be the top five of this year at all. It is still a Jordan one. It is not a bad Jordan one. It's just not one of the greatest ones. It's not going to be the. It won't fall in the top five at the end of the year. Probably won't be in the top ten. But I, I do like the the bronze accent. So anyway, I'm not going to drag this out any longer, guys. If you like it, go get it. If you don't, just move on to the next shoe. Um, I just want to thank you guys as as always for tuning in. I just want to ask you guys. Um, once again, if you can, just um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, so when I drop a new video, you get notified immediately that I have some. I have a lot of jabbering to do um, so I can show you another shoe. I actually, I think I have something. Oh, oh yeah, you guys got to tune in. Um, they haven't shipped yet, but I was lucky on, I already did the bacon, so I got those. I already did that review, but I was lucky on the Jordan, not the Jordan, the Air Max 1. Um clot the air max one clot kiss of death i actually got one so um which was very surprising so that will be my next review it would be nice if they could hurry up and ship them i'm sure there's plenty of reviews out there but there is no review like mr gray's review so once again i'm just gonna say tune in and lastly thank you guys again for tuning in i love you guys subscribe 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 and enjoy the rest of your day mr gray out